We need our, our teachers to be armed. Uh, we, you know, when you have, when you're facing someone who's an active shooter, uh, the best way to take that shooter down is with a gun. Uh, but even better than that is four or five guns to one. The CBC's Paul Hunter is following the story and joins us now from Washington. So, Paul, we heard one opinion there from the lieutenant governor. What more is happening this weekend? Yeah, well, we're back in the cycle of what you might call post-school shooting rhetoric. People who offer thoughts and prayers, followed by people who say thoughts and prayers aren't enough. People who say uh, there are gun laws in place if only they were followed amid those who say there aren't enough gun laws, but no one has the nerve or political wherewithal to do anything about it. Not only did the Texas lieutenant governor make that comment today, but separately he blamed violent video games, evil in society, no moral compass, too many entrances to schools and, you know, the one you played there, right? Not enough guns in schools. Um, the new president of the NRA, Oliver North, suggested today uh, that part of the problem for school shootings is too many kids are on drugs, citing Ritalin, for example. His solution, offered on Fox News today, uh, is to put more metal detectors at U.S. schools, multiple metal detectors for multiple entrances. If that kind of thing slows down kids from getting into class, back to the lieutenant governor, maybe the students will have to start coming to school earlier in the day to accommodate. This is where the U.S. is right now on this issue. Texas, by the way, allows teachers to carry guns. It's up to the individual school and school board to decide whether to do so. The Texas governor... Uh, today promised a series of roundtable meetings as soon as possible to find ways to better protect students. That's what people are talking about on this today as that first service for one of the victims is underway in Houston. Now, Paul, after other events like this, we've heard for calls for more gun control. We certainly heard it after Sandy Hook, and then we heard it again in a different but in a way stronger way after Parkland because we heard from, you know, those eloquent teenagers. Are we hearing that this time? Yeah, well, you know, as school shootings mount uh, more so far this year than in any year at this time since they started tallying these things, um, as they mount, there is a growing frustration on the other side that nothing ever changes. We saw a lot of that, indeed, after the Parkland shooting. Um, the general suggestion is that uh, there, there's a bunch of things that can and should be done. No one change will be enough. So yet again, talk of, yes, increasing school security, which is not to say arming teachers, but just security broadly. Uh, talk of better mental health training um, and what are promoted as reasonable restrictions on guns. Democratic Senator Mark Warner from Virginia went on TV today to express that kind of frustration that nothing changes and to push for, you know, all of the above, reminding everyone that, you know, this happens in this country more than any other place in the world. The U.S. is an outlier on this kind of thing. As he put it, the same old, same old isn't going to fix it. That said, hard to say if even he believes anything will ever change. Here's a clip. I don't know how my colleagues who won't be open to any of these solutions can face down victims or victims' families when they come in uh, time and again and say, please take these actions, reasonable restrictions. My hope is that um, maybe this will spur action, but unfortunately, if history's to prejudge, um, there'll be angst and anguish, uh, and unless we change our Congress, we won't get the changes we need. Not exactly overflowing with confidence. Texas this weekend, uh, Parkland, Sandy Hook, as you noted, Virginia Tech, the list goes on and on and on. The chief of police in Houston today blamed inaction by politicians and said, uh, as so many others have, if nothing happens, there will be a next time. Full stop. Mm. All right, Paul, thank you. The CBC's Paul Hunter in Washington.